Look at people are crossing the road with their tubes to go tubing down the river. Which is right there. Oh, oh my tubers. gosh, there's tons of people <laughs> tubing on it. What a cute little town. Oh, it sure is. Maybe we should do a little park and walk around. A little stop and shop. If you're looking for some crazy But it is fun to visit places like this and smell the smells and see the things, you know? It is beautiful here. Colorado is beautiful. Yeah, I'll give that. This is Clear Creek. And it's still nice and warm in the summer, a little hot sometimes. It's a little more humid than Arizona. It's just not quite as dry. And there's a lot more water here. Rivers, lakes, streams, ponds but a lot more people and a lot higher real estate prices. It's ridiculous here. And I'm sure that's all comparative. Like if you live in California, maybe Colorado doesn't seem ridiculous by comparison. Right. But coming from Arizona, it sure does. Yeah, right. We're off the mountain and in the museum, the rock museum cool. for this nerd. Because I'm nerdy. It's amazing how rocks can be so amazing. Look at those crystals that are dark and then light. Oh, it's beautiful. Wow. It's the Hall of Justice. How what does it know? It's the, where Superman goes. Yeah, what is Superman's home called? Oh, Fortress of Solitude. The Fortress of Solitude. Dude, we're getting like big numbers in here. Yeah? But check this out. Oh my god. From here. Two, two point. That's really radioactive. Through the glass. Oh my gosh, look at it glow. Go off and on again. Wow. That's so exciting. That's what I want to find. I want to find a rock that glows like crazy. They should have like a strobing light that goes black light, then regular, then this black light, close. then regular. That stone is so cool. Whatever you put it on, even though it's that thick, whatever picture you put it on, it makes it look as if the picture is right on top, just underneath the surface layer of stone. 
I don't know if you can tell as much on camera, but in real life, this is the trippiest optical illusion I've ever seen. What is it called? Ulexite TV Rock. That's too blast, too. Wow, look at that. Oh, wow, look at these little mining helmets. Oh, those are cool. Some of them are just soft caps, yeah. providing no protection whatsoever. I noticed these things. I know, look at the size of those. Don't you know how exciting this must have been the day they cut this thing in half oh, and saw what was inside it for the first time? That must have been, must have been awesome. Kidding me. Look at the size of that. That thing is amazing. This is all fake. These are all fakes. All this stuff? Right. Fakes and frauds. Oh. Manufactured malachite stalactite. Diamond glued onto kimberlite. Purported to be a rare matrix specimen. Fake fossils too. Trilobites. Yeah. Enhanced, carved, colored, or cast. They have these displays from the different areas in Colorado. The Leadville District, the Aspen District. It's kind of cool seeing the different stuff that comes out of the different areas. Boulder County, Purple Creek. Upon Cripple Creek. Ooh, giant gold ingot. It's enormous. The silver is even bigger. That thing is huge, you guys. Okay, wait. Can we really tell? Yes, we can tell how big it is. Look at this scale. That is cool. Don't do it, mister. <laughs> Wait, I haven't looked at this case. I have to see it just in case. Oh, look at that ball of calcite. It's perfectly spherical. Look at this pink stuff. It's so pretty. Rhodochrosite, fluorite, and quartz. Can you um, get us a precious gem detector? <laughs> Mike's getting this super strong signal over here, but he can't find what it is. I think it's there the calcosite. Oh my God, look at that, 370. Yep, that's definitely it. That was cool. Yeah. You know it too. You get up on it and all of a sudden this thing starts buzzing. I know. It's so funny how you're like just following it around trying to find it. Oh, what's in here? Uh, this is when we get caved in and die. Unfortunately. Ooh, here's the black light display oh. case. For sure. Wow. Oh, this thing's going freaking berserk right now. Oh, yeah? Oh. Four. They did exactly what I said. They must have it on a timer where it goes black light, normal light. It's not hitting in there. It's reflecting off of it. Oh, that's some kind of protective glass to protect our eyes. Look at that. Hot night. That's a big wow. piece of Oh, here's a big piece of art night here, wow, too. Wow, that one is spectacular. Wow. No wonder, this thing, this, this thing's going nuts. When it flashes red like that, that means like we're in the, oh my God, range. Super hot. Yeah. Like run for your life. It's hot. <laughs> that one you is You wouldn't want to cool sleep in with here. With all these square purple the crystals. Fluoride, yeah. So cool. I want 
that little um, thing of gypsum right there. It's so cute. I want to see that one again when it goes into the black light. Nine, ten, ten thousand counts. Ten thousand counts? Eleven. Oh, my little one that I wanted to see isn't very exciting. The gypsum? Yeah, it's kind of pale. Yeah. Compared to the others. This one though, this cube, this red cube right here. Wow. Where is it? This one how, is how super I... cool. I like that one a lot. And that little spear crystal too. Ooh, and this little green one down here. Spokane County, Washington. Guess we're gonna have to get into mining. Yeah, gotta go to Spokane, I guess. Man, that is just wild. Wow, that was cool, man. Super cool. That was radioactive as hell. Oh, man, it's amazing. Oh, look. I'm getting ready. Oh, God, I'm, I'm getting, I'm picking up those rocks over here from this side. Oh, my gosh, through the wall? Yeah. Oh, death by radon. This is your category, baby. It During sure the is. uranium rush, miners were exposed to radioactive radon gas that is naturally generated from uranium and can accumulate in mines without proper ventilation. Let's go see what else there is to see. <clears throat> oh wow, precious stones. <gasps> the Miss Colorado crown. Oh, what? Wow. How special is that? Look at that, you guys. Wow, so fancy. That thing is so sparkly. Look at this, you guys. It's a gym dollar machine. It's the best one ever. What? I am the queen of quarter machines. Who loves quarter machines more than me on this whole planet? Never. No one. No one loves quarter machines more than me. Hold I hope, this. I hope you get some uranium. <laughs> I don't think uranium is a gem. Could be. I don't know if I have four quarters though. <gasps> oh my quarters check, spilled. Check in the bottom of your purse. Oh, we got it. We got it. We got four quarters. Oh, We're in luck. Good. Only four quarters. Exactly four quarters. I hope you get a giant diamond. Me too. <laughs> like the size of Texas. Don't forget your flashlight. And I can sing all them songs about Texas. In, Ready? We're in Colorado. I know, but Texas has more songs. <laughs> Oh, we're supposed to trade the pod for a little thing. What'd you get? Moss agate. It has a little bit of fluorescence in it. Wow, it has little sparkles in it. It's cool. Yeah. Sh shine the light on it again. Okay, stop moving. You can kind of see the... Good job on your moss agates. Oh, look at this guy. Wow. That's a great hairdo. Look at that one. Look at some of these are so beautiful. I want to find some of these so bad. I guess we're going to have to start spelunking. Not that he would have any complaints about that. Mr. Adventure Guy. Oh, did you see this croc? Crocoite? It's like crocodile, but it's crocoite. Look at that. <whistles> Look at that fluorite. Oh, it's the most beautiful glass in the world. 
almost 10,000 caps right here yeah. on that dinosaur bone. That was replaced with carotite, which is that yellowy powdery stuff. Interesting. Yeah, it's kind of fun to do. Are you dinosaur, talking nerdy stuff over here? I can't help it. <laughs> oh, I bet it will glow, though. No, it doesn't. Yeah, I was going to ask you. No, I thought it would too. That, that dinosaur bone there was replaced by carnitide, which is uh, radioactive. And oh. we're seeing, like, over almost uh, down here, I'm getting 10,000 counts per minute from that dinosaur bone. That's a lot. It got fossilized by a uranium product. What is this? It's out of a movie, obviously. What is it? Is this a creature? Yeah, this is the fossil section. It's like a snake with spikes all over its whole coils. Oh my gosh. That's the thing of nightmares. And look at this one. How did <laughs> it get so beautiful. shiny and green? Ammonite. Ammonite. Cretaceous period. I don't even get it. I need somebody to explain this to me. I want someone to explain that weird looking thing. Yeah, because that's space alien right there. Right. Oh my gosh, oyster with pearl. What? Look. Oh wow. It's amazing, isn't it? Oh, there's another one of those things. Wow. It's a... Didymoceras Shainesica Malesca. Oh, that's pretty impressive, too. Mastodon tusk. Wow. Look at this cave bear. Dude, that's... Enormous. That's Wow. Well. Wow. It's kind of cool to see the different types of elements up close, you know what I mean? I know. Well, that was just an a exquisite collection of <laughs> specimens. This is really something. Yeah. Those, those things definitely belonged in a museum. It's really crazy. Like, like, I'm walking along and I run into a dinosaur bone that is more radioactive than a lot of the things that we own. Right. You know, looking at, oh, look, dinosaur, but not even knowing <laughs> that it's radioactive like crazy. <sighs> okay. Oh, look at that. A map of, of stones, time stones. <laughs> here we go. Something up here. Vesuvianite. I think it is the Vesuvianite. <gasps> what? I didn't know there was something called Vesuvianite. Now that I know it exists, I want some. This was a great idea. I mean, for a couple of rock hounds like us, listen, I come from a long line of rock hounds, okay? My ancestors had been picking up rocks and bringing them home for a millennia. 6,000. Whatever it is, it's big. You still can't single out what it is? We're still up to 6,000 counts down here. <laughs> Jeez, it's crazy. Wow, look at that. The legend. Microlene variety Amazonite, quartz variety smoky, and albite variety clevendite. Uranium iron, lead thorium, neo neobium. Yeah, so that's the one. It is that one for yeah. sure then. Shiny black shaley type rock. Traffic County, Colorado, so we'll keep an eye out for that. What are you guys up to? Oh, this is a scintillation counter. Oh, something, something going off over here, too. You found something else? <laughs> Dude, there are so many. There's You got the spiciest rocks in here, you wouldn't believe it. A lot of it. radioactive things. The, the <laughs> hot night downstairs, I wouldn't sleep with that under my pillow. <laughs> the dinosaur bone down there. That, that, Cartonite. Oh my God, that thing was, I walked in there, I was, it was in my pocket and this thing started vibrating. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, that thing was real spicy. 
we used to go, we go around looking for it, so <laughs> we didn't come here specifically to find radio actors. I just happened to have this in my pocket. Wow, you should have been here when we cleared out all the radio actor cabinets. Oh, you uh, did have? <laughs> and people, somebody just finally decided that was a bad idea for yes, the public? They were like, well, no, they weren't on display. They were like in storage, oh. but all together. Oh, that room oh, must have been like crazy. Like, well, this probably isn't, probably the way isn't to safe. Do it. Yeah. How's it going? Good. What a fun little trip. I know, that place rocked. I had a, <laughs> oh, you're, oh my God, you're grounded. I can't take you anywhere. Um, that was really cool. I was, uh, I, you know, it kind of opened my eyes to a few things in my hobby, you know, actually seeing, because you don't see this stuff, you detect it. Yeah. And uh, the stuff I've been trying to find and stuff isn't, um, I haven't seen it before, you know, I, oh, and so. Oh, so you didn't know what to look for. Right, I've seen it in videos and, and stuff like that, but I've never like just seen it there in 3D. In real life, yeah. Up close and stuff like that. So it was really cool to be able to. to uh, Visually identify. Yeah, what's the word I'm looking for? I, I, I was, I got a chance to inspect it, you know? Yeah. And that really made a difference. That was cool though. And I got a cool book. I feel like super nerdy with that. I bought a rock hounding book. <laughs> I'm gonna turn right here. But that's, um, that's why I'm gonna marry him, you guys. Because I rock. <laughs> rock hound. That's all downhill from here. <laughs> I know it's much easier getting back to our car than it was getting to the museum. Oh, we got a hike up here. What a neat! That was the neatest museum. I know it was I, really you know, good. I've never been into rocks, to be honest with you. But you know, finding those hidden gems, in my opinion, was just like icing on the cake of a really beautiful experience like that, yeah. that bone you know you just oh wow look at bone it doesn't say anything about it being radioactive it just should have a little radioactive symbol on it to just make it even more exciting but it'll right. probably freak out the public probably like oh my god it's radioactive we need to leave we need to talk to the dean of the school right <laughs> i'm calling the principal i need to call 911 right now <laughs> right